Wee Wen leans gently over his wife, Su Chi. He whispers softly, Be strong, be brave. This is a short goodbye, but it could have been much longer, because Su Chi is one of the last survivors to be dragged alive from Padang's rubble. This is the actual moment the 25-year-old teacher was taken out alive by a search and rescue team. A doctor on the scene gave me this photograph as she emerged into the sunlight after two days. It's the same smile she wears today. It's understandable why the young couple cannot bear to be separated. Su Chi's father, Masrul, hugs his daughter. His prayers have been answered before, and he asks for God's blessings again. Her family's euphoria has been tempered. They have just discovered Su Chi needs surgery. She is taken away to have her leg amputated. Begitu menerima berita dari anak yang kecil. I heard the news from my youngest daughter that Suci's college had collapsed. It was impossible that Suci could live. It's such a big building. I left it to fate. Whatever will be, will be. This is the exact moment Padang was struck. These children had been attending a karate class in Sai Priyaga English College. The building is about to come crashing down with students and teachers trapped inside. Su Chi is one of them. It was a little after five o'clock and Su Chi had just finished a conversation with her father. She was walking back to her classroom when the earthquake struck. As the university crumbled around her, she fell over onto her back with her head upright. A huge concrete slab landed on her legs, but nowhere else on her body. Su Chi had to lie in that agonizing position for 48 hours. This is the class of 2009. Every single one, except two of the students in this photograph, were buried alive. Yen Palizda is a teacher at the college too. Her class was cancelled that day. She lives, her students are dead. It's difficult to, to give the idea. In one side, I was very lucky, and on the one, I lose many students. Yeah, it's difficult to say. On one side, I'm very lucky, so I, I can get together with my family, I can grow up my, my children, but on the other side, I, yeah, how do you say this? It's difficult. Before her surgery, I asked Su Chi how she was feeling. She smiled at me and replied, I'm fine. Su Chi's life will never be the same again, but at least she still has one. Ashish Joshi, Sky News. Padang, Indonesia.